Hi, everyone. I am Natalie Hall, and I am joined by my very delightful co-star, Peter Mooney. Hello, Mr. Mooney. Hi, how are you, Natalie? We're very excited for you to see our new movie, Fly Away With Me, as part of Fall Into Love. Love that. Okay, so we have a couple of questions that Hallmark Channel sent our way. Um, yes. So we are going to be answering that. So um, let's get started, shall we? Let's do it. Okay, love that. All okay. right. In our movie, Fly Away With Me, our characters, Angie and Ted, you're Ted, I'm Angie, are both keeping a similar secret. Can we Ooh. share how that, that secret brings our characters together? You want to yeah. go first? This isn't yeah. so much of a spoiler, right? It's in the trailer. So, yeah, so let's do it. We live in a beautiful building with beautiful views in a city where it's very hard to get a place, but the building doesn't allow pets. And the secret that we are sharing is a dog for me and a bird for you that mm -hmm. we're keeping hidden in secret. And we are the only ones that know each other's secret and have to conspire to keep it that way. Yes. I can relate to that a lot. Uh, living in New York, when you get an apartment, you just want to keep that apartment. So definitely relate to that. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I've had an imaginary dog my whole adult life. He's right <laughs> here. He's here. Travel. here, I'll lift him up so you can see him. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. We actually had to, <laughs> some, sometimes you and I in the movie, we had to pretend that they were there because they have their hours. You know, they can't work long yes, hours. Yeah. Animals. So we'd have to pretend like the bird was over there. It was really fun. We did do a lot of looking at the space where an animal would be, and then it all cuts together beautifully. The magic of it. And then you would pretend you're a dog going woof woof in the scene too, right? Yeah, Remember exactly. That? <laughs> With your imaginary dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got one for you. Uh, okay. Angie and Ted, they've uh, unwittingly become uh, pet parents. Now, even though having pets in this building, as we mentioned, is against the rules, uh, could we share, could we talk about how that brings them together? Um. Well, basically, it brings them together because they both are sharing the same secret, right? So they oh. have to kind of um, work together, and they both discover they both have pets, and it's against the rules, so that is a huge problem for them. Um, and so it becomes a very, very tricky situation in the building now, and in their relationship. Were to give them advice uh as us as natalie and peter uh to give ted and angie some advice on how to pull this off what would that advice be i would say always go with your gut so you know i thinking about it i think i would do everything angie did um because yeah. usually when i look at characters i'm like why is she doing that but this character i was like okay she wants to keep her apartment but she also falls in love with this pet this bird this beautiful bird played by the lovely uh bg his name in real life is bg and his name on on set was gill in real life um so she fell in love with him so um i would just say go with your gut and figure it out and i probably do the exact same thing i probably would hide him um and then try and figure out who his owner is and then at the end of the day, I don't know if I fell in love with the animal. I think I would end up moving, but we'll see what she does um, because she, yeah. she does do some some things different than me. <laughs> I would just I would I would with her, or is, is go with her gut. Yeah, 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 and 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 live on a lower floor. Yeah, lower you know, floor. Yeah. But if you're sneaking in and out via the stairwells. Uh, that was a lot of floors to climb. Uh, now we day. did. We climbed so many floors with those, and we. This is a little behind the scene thing, but we we had to actually like run upstairs with the animals, and so that was a lot of work. And we just never knew what those animals were going to do. No, no, we never never did. They kept us. I never knew what you were going to do. No, I was the same. I was more in the animal camp of. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I had three, three, you know, two animals and a human around me. I just didn't know what you guys were going to do ever. So oh, I had no. to stay on my toes. Um, should I do the next question, Peter? Yeah, dive in, dive in. Okay, dive in. Uh, Ted and Angie decide to team up against the condo cop, played by the lovely Melinda. We love Melinda. To mm -hmm. uh, keep their respective pets a secret. And it leads to some funny sneaking around moments, which we just talked about. Do we have a favorite scene we cannot wait for viewers to see? I'm I'm most excited about every scene where we're trying to navigate Gil's cage through narrow hallways. I think just just for the folks at home to know in advance, 
that cage was uh, about two inches shy of any given hallway we're trying to get to. So we're, we're making it by like this much every time. It's so, so heavy too. Very heavy. Yeah. Yeah. It's very, so very heavy. And we had to be careful because he was in there. So, He's and, and I was in these huge heels and I was, you know, some scenes I'd be like, can uh, Peter's character carry this cage? And then you'd be like, yeah, yeah, no problem. And then about like a couple hours later, you're like, I can't do this anymore. You'd be well, sweating. Yeah. But you're being a gentleman, which you always are. So I appreciate oh, that. It was my pleasure. My pleasure. Um, awesome. Well, that. Oh, oh, okay. I love that. All right. So, so Angie and Ted, they're great neighbors who help each other out. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, they're trying to find the parrot's missing home. Yes. Yes. So what qualities did you like most about your character? And did I like most about my character and uh, vice versa? Okay, well, um, I loved her uh, passion. Everything she does, she does it with her whole heart and passion. And I think that's such a beautiful quality. Um, I love the journey she takes in this film of finding her strength and her confidence. Um, but really, truly, just like her kindness with people and animals and um, her determination in life. I think that's such a beautiful quality within her. And I just love that about Angie. I love playing that in her and and just the journey that she took. I just um, she was so fun and um, just just such a beautiful journey to play. I, I loved her and I, I loved your character, too, obviously. Yeah, and I feel very fortunate that they that they met because, uh, you know, Angie proves to be very inspiring. Uh, for Ted, I think when they when they meet, he's in a little bit of a rut, and it's a <laughs> happy rut. It's a comfy rut, but he's not where he wants to be. And I think he's really inspired by her and everything she's going through. And that was that was really nice. Yeah, that was so nice. You know, you forget because you you step away from these roles for a little while, right? And then you come back and you start thinking about it. And their relationship um, is such a I don't know. It's, it was really beautiful to play that together. Like just sort of them both trying to figure out, you know, where they wanted to go in life. And I think they both really inspired each other. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Well, should I do the next question? Yeah, yeah you do. Okay. 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 Peter, mm -hmm. this is your very first Hallmark movie. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, what was your favorite part of making Fly Away with me? And you, and you don't have to say me. It's okay. Oh, oh well, I mean, it's so nice. <laughs> uh, no, we we laughed a lot. I hope uh, people watching this are getting the sense that we laughed a we lot. In the movie, and it was it was great. Uh, also, uh, we both came into it with little ones, and being able to talk in between scenes about how we juggled that was a tremendous comfort. I was very very grateful for. That was just so much fun. And I think, yeah, just I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun making it. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I loved the, um, like, all the stuff with the planes. I thought that was so fun that we got to do all that together. And um, when we went to the uh, place with all the vintage planes and yeah. the people that worked there, they were so kind and they educated us on the planes, like, in between takes. I thought that was so cool. And we got to see planes from... Um, you know, different wars. And it was just, it, I thought that was so cool too. It was, it was amazing. We had to wrap, we wrapped out of there by lunch that day, I think. Yeah. And I was just to say, I was like, can, we, can, we, can I ask him more questions about the Spitfire? I just want to <laughs> stick on the no. Yeah. Really, They're cool. so cool, those planes. And we obviously, there's a lot of beautiful scenery in this movie because your character flies planes. And so that was a really cool experience. And I have to say the director was so great. She really, she, you know, you see a movie on a page and then you get to live it and be it and see the locations. And she did such an amazing job, Marita. Um, so that was just so fun. So I can't wait for everyone to see that too. And, and the bird, I don't think I don't know if the, you know, I don't know if Hallmark's done a movie with like a bird as like a main character. Yeah, I've never seen one. And the bird is heavily featured. Like the bird. Is... <laughs> we never think... knew what he was going to do. Well, we didn't know if he was going to be a good actor. And he's great. He's great. He might be the best one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. So keep your eyes on him. Because I think 
<laughs> he's going to be doing a million Hallmark movies now. It's just going to yeah. be the bird and the bird falling in love. <laughs> yeah, he's a star, that bird. He also he's has, you know, he could be sassy to that bird. Yes. Yeah. And you had to be careful with your fingers in the cage because he could be a little, a little nippy, but I think. Yeah. And then also sometimes he would get like um, in the scene, I'd have this like really intimate moment with him and he'd be like, "Ah!" (laughs) because he would be in a mood. Um, And so I had to work with his mood in that moment. So, uh, you know, it was great. (laughs) Yeah. The poor sound guys with their, with their big cans where everything's, you can hear every like whisper and page turn. And then the bird would be like, wow, I could just see them. (laughs) I know oh, wow. it's so funny. Yeah, um, but he's so glad that this is your first Hallmark movie. Yeah, that's it's it's crazy. It's it's amazing. So uh, yeah. thank you very much for uh, guiding me on this adventure. Well, you didn't need any guiding, but welcome to the club, the Hallmark um, family. It really is a family, and everyone, as you know, um, but everyone's so lovely and kind, and um, just yeah. the best people. So all yeah, the actors, the crew, everybody's amazing. So the nicest such a people. Good experience. Yeah. yeah really cool crew really great group so that yeah. was stuff we're lucky we got one for you oh angie's mom was a dancer and she gave her the advice to never give up on your dreams now do you have a dream that came true in my life um mm-hmm. i mean i have so many i think we all do in life right we have these goals and these dreams and personally and professionally and i feel so grateful that I get to pursue my dreams and, um, you know, doing these movies is a dream and, um, you know, starting a family and having loved ones and are surrounded around you. Um, yeah, I mean, I just, I feel very grateful that I get to work and do what I love to do and, um, you know, just have so much love and support around me. So I feel very, very great. Do you have a dream? Do you have a dream that's come true? Me? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I, I mean, I get to do what I always wanted to do. We, we go to work and we, we play pretend and sometimes it's stressful or the days are long, but there's a moment uh, or many moments every day when we're doing this where I'm like, this is my job. I get to do this for a living and it's just incredible. And I feel so fortunate for that to be the case. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're really lucky. Yeah. Um, I like that question. That was a nice question. (laughs) Um, Should I ask you one? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ted is training to be a pilot, and Angie's dream is adventure. If we were to fly away anywhere in the world, where would you go? I think I would know, because I think we talked about places we loved. Yeah, that's good. That's good. right now. I have to say it's uh, I have a lot of family in Ireland and I haven't seen them in, in a good few years. And also Ireland's incredibly beautiful. And I'd love to fly over it and see it all from from above and a little prop plane like we have in the movie. So I think I think it would be Ireland. It'd be tough to get that little plane across the ocean, but we'd figure out a way. <laughs> You'd figure it out. You fly planes now, right? Yeah, hey, I know how to do it. I, I mean, I got my pilot's license for the movie, obviously. So uh, <laughs> I know how to do it. Yeah, um, that's so cool. I love Europe as well. I think it's such a, and also, yeah. also I would love, I, I love going to Vancouver, Canada, where my family's from. So I like yeah. uh, flying home whenever I can um, to see family and stuff. So um, yeah, but Europe is a, is a top one for me too. Vancouver and Europe done. Yeah. Vancouver. You have a book behind you anywhere, a book, you've got all those books. Is there any book about Ireland back there? Oh, and all these, you know, that's, that's kind of embarrassing. There's, there's the butcher boy, Patrick McKay, but kind of a sad Irish book. They're mostly sad ones. I don't have a lot of funny Irish books in the mix for sure. Reading. We won't be reading one of those. Yeah. Yeah. That one's a real, that one's a real tear <laughs> Um, All right. Do you, do you want to ask the next question? Yeah, let me see. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay. Ted and Angie, they have a lot of fun as we did trying to keep our, our uh, bird and dog uh, secret. Uh, do you have any fun stories from behind the scenes uh, when we were shooting? Oh my goodness. Um, I mean, there were just every day we laughed, I will say, like we had so much fun every day um, that it's hard to just pinpoint one moment. Um, And I think that sort of shows 
the amount of fun we all had on set, just the entire cast and crew. Um, gosh, fun stories. I mean, really just the bird and the dog working. I've ne I've worked with a dog, but I've never worked with a bird and a dog in the same scene, like standing there with the bird and dog and just wondering what they're both going to do. And that really keeps you on your toes as an actor because... You just don't know what kind of mood they'll be in. Um, and I also loved the, actually, I loved the dance scene that we had with the animals. I, and, you know, the yeah. bird, he really knows how to move. Yeah, yeah I'm a bit, I, I don't think this is a spoiler. I feel like I can say this, but I, I feel a bit upstaged uh, by BG's moves because he's an incredible dancer, like a oh, really, yeah. really good dancer. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I, I trained and I stretched and I, and I warmed up for that dance sequence. Uh, but still the bird just took it home. It I know, incredible. I know. I've danced for years and he, you know, really just, it was all about him. Everybody was watching him. Yeah. I was trying to show my dance moves and nope, it's all about, all about, all yeah. about PG. Although uh, what is kind of funny is he has very different taste in music. Um, <laughs> he only dances for rap. That's, that's <laughs> Will not dance for anything else. It's actually, we put on such great music, you know, sixties, two thousands, and when the rap came on, he was like, yeah, he's he's go. Yeah. <laughs> um, which was very um, funny to watch. He's awesome, yeah, yeah. Um, um, okay, do you want to do you want to try? The, we I got a little game of like I love games. Yeah. Okay, this or that. you want to try a little, little this or that? So so. Just rapid fire. I'll, I'll answer them too, and we can go back and forth with these. Uh, but this or that questions. You ready? Okay. Okay. Dogs or birds? Well, I have a newfound love for for birds. Obviously, I worked with BG, who was amazing, and he's so beautiful. Uh, mm -hmm. My goodness, like just the most beautiful bird. Um, but I've always had dogs in my life, and I love dogs, um, so I have to pick dogs. But if I got to have the parrot that I had in this movie, then I would have a dog and a parrot. Yeah, that would be kind of ideal. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, had, I, I gotta go dogs. Armani was the most incredible dog he actor I worked with. He was, he was super special and super great and I, and I miss him. So yeah, it's dogs, dogs for me. I know Armani was also, we forgot, we haven't really mentioned much about Armani, but he also, the dog in the movie, he, it was, was so cute and so sweet and just so much fun. I mean, he's your character's dog, but I fell in love with him yeah. too. Yeah, I think we both we both kind of uh, developed feelings for each other's animals. So <laughs> yeah. Big happy animal family. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So is it a pumpkin patch or an apple orchard? Apple orchard. Because you, you can't really eat the pumpkins as you're walking through the pumpkin patch. Uh, you gotta take the seeds out and it's all kind of gloopy and apples are just right there. So I, apples for sure. So I'm going to go the opposite. I'm going to go pumpkin patch. And the reason for it is because it's Halloween and I love seeing little kids dressed up in their Halloween costumes. And that usually happens at a pumpkin patch. So it's my favorite. So, oh, um, but I do, I do like apples too. So that would be fun because you get to eat it, but just sort of thinking about costumes and children, and then I, I, I would do a pumpkin patch. I'm just always thinking about eating. <laughs> uh, if you had to decide between then uh, sipping on hot apple cider or a pumpkin spice latte, which way would you go? Um, I love lattes, so I so I don't really like. I never just sip a hot apple cider or you won't catch me on a random day, you know, doing that or a pumpkin spice latte. Yeah. I do love lattes. So I will go with the pumpkin spice latte. I don't think I've ever had a pumpkin spice latte, but I'm going to go with that. Really? I, 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 I'm going to go pumpkin spice latte too. I, I do. I do love them. Um, we both like our lattes. I, yeah. Love a latte. And I don't mind a little seasonal pumpkin spice in there. The, um, I used to embarrassingly late in my life, like up until way too recent for this to be okay. I would wear uh, a chain wallet uh, <laughs> you know, well into my twenties. And uh, the last day I wore it was like one of those first kind of cool days of fall. And I got a pumpkin spice latte and I was sitting on a bench in a park and I knocked the latte over and I stood up so quickly that my chain wallet jammed in the bench. 
and I couldn't get it out and I had to just leave it there. And it was for the best. It was a good time to sort of say goodbye to the chain wallet. Uh, but it was all <laughs> to a pumpkin spice latte. So I'm forever grateful to them. To a pumpkin the spice latte. That should be a commercial. Yeah, I brought it back and I said, I, I spilled this and they, they made me another one. It was very wow. Sweet. It was all worth it for that pumpkin spice latte. Totally worth it. I hope you bring the chain back. Next time I see you, I, I think I yeah, might buy yeah. you a chain. That'd be nice. Yeah, maybe maybe two. <laughs> a chain for your wallet. Um, I love that. All right. Um, go on a road trip or fly a plane. Oh, am I? Do I fly the plane in this scenario? Fly, fly the plane for sure with my new uh, pilot's license that I got. Uh, <laughs> that, I have. that would be incredible. Like just being in the simulator for this movie and getting to sit in the plane was was amazing. So definitely, definitely fly. A plane. Me too. Also, yeah. I'm thinking about a road trip with a child. You got to make a lot of stops. It's it, yeah. Yeah, that's just yes. too many, too many like breaks <laughs> and goldfish crackers everywhere. No, yeah, flying. Let's just fly. We'll get flying. It's it's so. I mean, again, in our movie, it's. I think uh, the viewers are gonna love the scenery. Um, you know, and actually going up there in the air and the plane oh. was so beautiful. I think people are gonna love the scenery in this movie. And it's you know there. There's a lot of um, like metaphor, sweet metaphors with the flying and the dreaming and the. Uh, my character also dances and um, the bird, you know, everyone's sort of spreading their wings and going after yeah. their dreams. Um, so I love that about the movie. But yeah, I would definitely fly a plane too. Okay. We're both, we're both on the fly side of that one. Yeah. Uh, walk through a park, <laughs> walk through a park or hike mm -hmm. to see the, the fall leaves. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd hike. I was just, I just spent a month in your, your, of the world in, yeah. in BC in Vancouver and holy smokes hiking is just so beautiful I know it's great, it's great. I, I love a park but that sort of says flat to me hike sort of says like g going up and and that was pretty spectacular so I'd, I'd hike check out some yeah um yeah Vancouver a lot of Hallmark movies get shot there but it's so beautiful the scenery and there's so many oh, mountains man. and um yeah there is nothing like hiking up um, so I would agree with that. But I also, I, I would love, you know, like New York City, you know, mm, Central Park. Central Park, yeah. That time of year where you're just, you've got your, you know, coat on and you've got your pumpkin spice latte and yeah. it's your fall. And you're, you're on the way to the pumpkin patch with your, your wallet chain. <laughs> yeah, that does sound pretty good. <laughs> you know, that yeah. time of year. <laughs> Okay, I got one last one for you. Okay. Maple glazed donuts or pumpkin pancakes? Maple glazed donuts. And that's yeah. just that. Yeah. That's, that's just it. Yeah. Like, I just like... Donuts, there's just like a me sized hole in the wall sprinting towards wherever they are. I That donuts has it. That could have been maple glazed donuts or like, uh, 12 pots of gold and I'd be like yeah. maple glazed donuts yeah. I know there's I, nothing there's nothing like it really like maple and that's so fall too yeah yeah with yeah, your I'm chain sorry, pancakes, but just the yeah. donuts. you know now so now we have we have our wallet chain our pumpkin yeah. patch our pumpkin latte eating our donut through the park this is shaping up to be a nice day. I like I like the <laughs> thing. It is. What a beautiful fall day you and I are having. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> um, all right. Well, that was fun, right? Yeah, that was. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining us. That was that was great. Yeah, we had so much fun, and and um, thank you for, you know, joining me and Peter right now, uh, ch chit chatting and catching up. Um, so our premiere of our movie, movie Fly mm. Away With Me, I hope you guys all check it out. It is so much fun. Peter and I, as you can tell, had a blast. It's beautiful. Uh, we've got animals and the whole thing. So uh, I hope you guys all tune in. Yeah, and please. When is it? Uh, it is this Saturday, September 24th at uh, 8 o'clock, 7 central.
Yes, on the Hallmark Channel, uh, which you guys all know. (laughs) Um, So why don't you all tweet along? I will be tweeting. um, So tweet along with me using the hashtag fly away with me, like the good song, you know. Come fly with me, let's fly. (laughs) You know that good song? (laughs) That's uh, that's awesome. Yeah, thank you for joining us today and uh, join us again on Saturday. Yeah. Awesome. Bye.